Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this. This is our second 2015 Dodge Challenger in stock. Um, and this one is the Challenger RT Plus. Um, and really, check out the color. I mean, it's, it's, it's a sublime green and really stands out when you look at it. I mean, you could just see this thing coming a mile away. Another thing that kind of stands out to me is these polished aluminum wheels with the graphite um, accents. So you can see it's polished aluminum. It's got the black there in each hole. But man, these rims are, well, I think they're probably my favorite wheels on the Challenger so far that I've seen. But this one has the 5.7 liter Hemi and the 8-speed torque flight transmission. They did a really good job in 2015 with the looks of the, of the Challenger. I think it's, it's just awesome. Here in the front, you've got your halo lights here. Can't really see them because it's daytime. And you got projector headlights, projector fog lights. And then you've got that that split pieces there in a the grill just like I think it's the 1971 Challenger that they're going for I think it's 71 72 something like that did an awesome job recreating a kind of like a classic definitely a classic muscle car look for sure the wheels are stunning the color is stunning and this one is since it's RT plus I mean it does have the sport suspension um, performance brakes I mean it has a pretty good amount of upgrades in addition to the appearance this one has the backup camera the backup sensors and you can check out my video uh, of the 2015 Challenger at night so you can see what the lights look like it really looks awesome but I want to show you something. One thing I forgot to do in that video was show you what the turn signals look like. And since it's, they're bright enough to where you can see them during the day, let me go ahead and show you now. You can see that's actually the, the brake light, which will flash. And here in the front, it's, more, it's like a little... A second halo, I guess you can say, that's flashing there in the front. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I forgot to show you that in the other video, so there it is. But anyway, moving on, let's go ahead and um, start with the trunk. So I'm going to open it up using this little button here. There's the backup camera. And here's the trunk. Now, pretty, pretty good amount of room already, but it looks like those back seats fold, fold down as well. So you got some more room. Now this one, I was kind of interesting. Um, it does have a spare tire, which some of them do not. So if that's something that you want, you definitely want to make sure that you get it if you're getting a new Challenger. There's the battery. It looks like a huge marine battery. So shouldn't have any problems starting this vehicle. And there's the uh, the spare tire, and you got like a fuse box and stuff back here. Now, if you get this, this one has a sound group two. If you get the sound group three, you got some subwoofers back here, so it may not be possible to get the spare tire in this spot. And sound group two, which I found out, kind of took a little while to do, has a subwoofer here in the. Uh, right here under the glass you can't see it from either side but it's there's one in there and it with some other speakers and there here's the fuel cap it does have a like actual cap on it some of them are capless some vehicles now but the, the Challenger still has the, the cap on it 
Now this one has a proximity key. It's already started and open, but you can just put your hand here and it'll unlock with it, as long as you have the key on you. And you can push that button to relock it. But since it's already running, I can't really demonstrate that. It's a common feature on most a lot of vehicles now, so I'm sure you've seen it in another video. It's got heated side mirrors. And here's the inside of the door. Now it's kind of interesting, you got a pocket back here. It's about right there. And you got a bottle water, water bottle holder there. And there's your handle. Side your your mirror controls as well as your um, door lock and side mirrors. Window control, sorry. And this one, like I said, it has the sound group too. So this is the Alpine system. You've got side airbags, and this is the heated and cooled leather seats. These are in black. And you do have a power adjustment here for the going forward and backward, up and down. But in order to get the seat to tilt forward, you have to use a manual adjustment there. So let's take a look here at the back seat. You do have the uh, proofrated leather in the back as well. Not a huge amount of leg room. I mean, it is a sports car and it's kind of not really, I mean, the, the back seats are there, but they're not really super roomy, I guess you can say. This folds down and gives you armrests and cup holders. Got some airbags there, speakers, pocket in the back of the seat. There's some vents here pocket here so I can put the seat back here all right so moving into the vehicle don't worry I'll show you the engine before we finish so here's the inside and steering wheel is pretty cool looking and it's got the little grips here. It's leather wrapped, has some good thickness to it. Has that Dodge symbol. On the right side, you have your cruise control settings. And uh, on the right side on the back, you've got your volume. Right here, so you're, cru you're cruising on the highway. You got your hand on the steering wheel, you can adjust the volume. And you can change the stations on the back of this side. So if you want 70s or 80s, whatever you want. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn the volume back down. And um, on this side of the steering wheel, you've got your Bluetooth, once you pair your phone, your Bluetooth um, phone, you can answer calls and end calls here. And you know, you can also make calls and stuff like that. Now the voice recognition button is um, it's kind of in addition to the the phone calling because when you push this button it'll go through you know you call a certain person by speaking say call so and so and it'll call them out of your phone book but the voice recognition you can also change to certain stations um, you know just tune to satellite channel nine. Tuning to satellite channel nine. So that's how you know you could do things like that, and um, there's a whole actual whole book on on the voice recognition uh, commands. So that way you can kind of keep your eyes on the road and the hands on the steering wheel while you're you're operating the vehicle. Now this one has um, a power adjustment here on the steering wheel, and it does tele. I thought it telescopes. But apparently not. It goes up, it goes down. And I guess this one doesn't have the telescoping feature. But it does. Oh, there we go. I wouldn't push it hard enough. Yep, it telescopes and goes up and down, which is pretty cool. Um, you got your automatic headlights. There's your trunk release. Is your dimmer controls. One is for your ambient light, one is for your gauges. 
and these buttons here the arrows and then okay this corresponds with your menu between your gauges here getting a little bit of a glare but the gauges look really cool they're kind of like a I don't know if you can tell it's got like a concave look to it to give you a, like a classic 70s muscle car look there really bad glare right now but hopefully you can kind of tell but this menu I'm gonna go ahead and push these buttons just so you can get an idea of what this does right now it's in a speedometer mode but I can scroll down see right now it's in vehicle info I can push to the right and get different temperatures and pressures including the tire pressure which was the first thing you saw like that and notice these tires have a lot of air pressure it's like almost like 50 pounds but it will alert you if it's too low or too high so that's the vehicle infoscope photo screen I'm going to scroll down again and this is your performance screen uh, you have a 0 to 60 mile per hour timer you have a braking distance 0 to, zero to 60 so basically you just have those two features on this one because it keeps going through those two that's all you have on the report performance which is pretty still pretty neat fuel economy um, this is your what you uh, it has like a real-time gauge as well as an average and you can re reset it. it gives you a range as well here's your first trip let me get back up and you can go to a second trip just in case you need to and scrolling down this is your radio. Any messages um, would be stored here. You can set up the screen and you notice at the top right as a temperature and the top left you have your range. Now there's a bad glare but right here let's see here right <laughs> see if you can right there is your range but anyway that you can change those things to be to say different things whatever you want to do basically. And then it's back to the speedometer so you know that's your 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 menu screen I guess you could say and uh, this car has two miles on it look at there I don't see that every day even new cars usually have a little bit more miles than that and this so this is a new car with two miles so anyways that's your buttons there for your your menu screen this is a push button start which I didn't I didn't show you I already had it running but this is the key and uh, you just basically have this key on you and you can up, walk up touch the handle open up the doors it'll unlock by itself and then you put your foot on the brake and push the button and it'll start right up and then when you're finished you push the button get out and then there's a button on the outside to lock it so you don't actually have to have the key out you just have it in your pocket and you're good to go so moving on to the Uconnect screen here, this is 8.4A Uconnect system and if I'm not mistaken you can upgrade it with navigation but this one does not have that upgrade as of yet and uh, right now it's in the radio screen it does have satellite radio, AM, FM and you can adjust the audio controls and stuff like that from the screen media this is where you would um, if you have let's say you have songs on your phone you can pl play songs through the Bluetooth system and um, so that way it's wirelessly now if you want to connect something into the USB it does have a USB uh, option auxiliary Bluetooth and SD card inputs which I'll show you where they are in a second and that way you can like literally you can use an SD card as like a hard drive and just put thousands of songs on there and you're good to go for a long time controls this is where you find your heated and ventilated seats here in the front and um, just like that it also has a heated steering wheel now only the front seats are heated and ventilated uh, they're not uh, in the back so also in controls you will find the settings too so you push the settings button and this has all kinds of different uh, you know when you start the vehicle uh, when you get out of the vehicle do you want the the radio how long you want the radio to stay on stuff like that there's all kinds of different settings on that all right so let's move on to climate 
the climate is off. Let me go ahead and turn it on so you can see everything. This is where you'll find your, your temperatures on both sides. It is, it is a dual zone uh, temperature. So right now it's sync, but all I gotta do is um, change the temperature like that and then adjust it on each side. I can adjust the fan control here. Now I do have those controls down here as well, but you do have them on the screen too. Turn the fan off. All right, um, the phone. Right now, we don't want to pair a phone, but once a phone is paired, you can see that um, you've got your recent calls, your phone book, uh, stuff like that here on the screen, and you'll have um, the ability to dial from a keypad and stuff like that. Now, you can, right here where it says transfer, you can hit the transfer button and transfer it back to your cell phone if you do not want anybody in the car to hear your you know, full conversation. Uh, apps. This is your Uconnect apps. Uh, some of these are, that are, are paid services. Now, some of them see where it says via mobile. Uh, that is using your cellular data from your cell phone. So you want to make sure that you're aware of that if you have some kind of limited data plan. And you know you can register the the Uconnect and use the vehicle as a Wi-Fi hotspot and and different features. Uh, you know, it's basically similar to apps on a phone in a way. You do have your temperatures here at the top on the inside, and then you are, uh, yeah, and then you've got your outside temperature there. The vehicle's facing northeast, and then it's 10:18 a.m. So it gives you some information there at the top. So down here, this is your kind of redundant buttons for your climate control, as well as your radio volume tune through the station stuff like that now your sport mode is here your button so I'm gonna go ahead and push it so you can see that it alerts you up here when sport mode is on you see the little green arrow green light there it is on and off as it turn on now I can also turn tr the uh, the stability traction control off here by pushing it one time you see this is uh, trash control sport mode to where you can I guess spin tires and stuff now some of them you can push and hold it and it'll completely turn off that that safety feature this one you can hold it all day it will all do is just turn it on or off your parking sensors you can turn those off in case you need to get close to something in the back see because when I put it in reverse I'm going to put it in reverse not only do you have this backup camera which is very clear um, seems a lot clearer now than in the past but also you've got this uh, screen here where it shows your car and it has the the range of the sensors so if you start getting close to something it's gonna beep at you and you know kind of tell you um, that you're getting you know kind of alert you so you don't run into something while you're backing up so your parking sensors if you wanted to turn those off if you know you're gonna get close to something and you don't want it beeping at you maybe a tight garage or whatever then you can turn those off so your shifters here and it's kinda of like a t-handle shifter which is pretty cool and the look at a little pocket there put your cell phone or you know I don't know whatever and but this but the shifter is kinda of like a you know just sort of standard shifter but when you go down here to drive you can bump it over here to manual and you can kind of like like similar to like a ratchet shifter you can get you can bump through the gears like that just like a ratchet shifter so and then you can kind of tell which gears you're in right here on the screen but anyway I thought it was pretty cool like a ratchet shifter and you know and of course you got regular uh, regular automatic transmission for like I guess if you're stuck in traffic or something you don't want to be you know shifting gears but um, that's the only thing that, that people say that manuals are fun to drive and they are until you get really stuck in traffic and that's kind of a pain and uh, speak from experience anyway you got a little net pocket right here and your cup holders are here and it has a little bit of ambient light here too which is pretty cool at nighttime and this is kind of like a carbon fiber look here to this 
but uh, they really did a good job Dodge did a really good job with the interior on this car that was kind of one of my gripes with the previous models was the interior was kind of you know the steering wheel and everything just kind of reminded me of just too standard looking but this one is more sporty it's kind of like a mixture between a sports car and a muscle car and I, I really like that now here's your center console armrest and inside here is a felt lined pocket and this is where I was telling you before the auxiliary USB and SD card inputs are so where you can plug up something in there and play music through the system and uh, this is your little booklet that I was telling you about for voice recognition kinda helps you get started decent little pocket there that says Dodge Brothers here there's your glove compartment and it's kinda like a compartmentalized glove compartment you have a felt lined big section in the bottom then you got like little shelves in there that are not felt lined it's got the little challenger badge over there auto dim rear view mirror has 911 and assistance buttons up here for your uConnect system and here's your some tap lights garage door controls are here place to put your sunglasses or glasses or whatever you want to put in there the visors have lights and mirrors same thing on that side you also have this little thing that kind of pokes out kind of filling some of the space let's look at the window sticker feel free to use the pause button And um, I got these these pedals here. I wanted to show you. These are um, what they call the bright bright pedals, and they kind of go over the the standard. Let's see if you can see that these pedals down here are just kind of standard looking, and uh, not very sporty. Looking the same pedals in a minivan as those, but these are kind of sporty looking, and these are um, you know put out by by uh, Mopar and you can get those and put them on your vehicle and um, just kind of give it a more of a sporty look got a little bit of weight to them too anyway those are them and I think there's the box I just want to see if it's got the yeah WKSRT pedal kit anyway seats are really nice I mean the car is awesome all the way around and you know with 400 horsepower and you've got this really bright color and really impressive so let's go ahead and look underneath the hood and as we're making our way to the hood um, check out this thing the little Easter egg thing they put in the windshield it's like a little challenger Let's see if I can put this window sticker in front of it just so you can see a little bit better right there on the edge of the windshield thought that was a pretty nice little touch for um, you know just kind of just the coolness factor factor of it You've got your modern decal RT decal here And there's your 5.7 liter V8 Hemi, and I like the way the, the the bright color shines through around the engine and under the hood. It's got the purple antifreeze; it kind of helps accent the green. The only gripe I have is that you can't really see the engine; they just cover everything up with plastic, and just not really. I don't know. I, I think it'd be cooler if you can see some metal or see some kind of, you know, performance part or, you know, just something a little bit neater looking besides just a uh, plastic cover. But hey, that's just me. Anyway, if you have any questions or if there's anything that I forgot to go over, um, any uh, anything that I made a mistake on, let me know and uh, leave it in the comments and 
I'll see you next time.